Hello there, beautiful people. Welcome back again to On Hot Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes. I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop on the line a comment. I'll be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And please bear witness for that because I made over 300 videos of our Shopify customization. And they were all requested by you guys. And I know some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. So don't hesitate, man. If you have any video requests or any questions, just so drop me a comment below. I will be happy to provide you information you need or even make a video for you. And yeah, you don't have to subscribe, or maybe now you should consider doing so, because if you don't, you lose. Now it's a very different chapter on the channel. I usually share smart customizations, but now we'll be sharing complete sections and widgets highly customizable to make a Shopify store very unique, professional, without having to rely on those expensive teams or hiring these expensive developers, or even worse, paying for those monthly subscription applications that will drain your money and is not a very good idea of long-term projects. But I give you a better deal, scroll down to the channel, check out the videos and sections I'm sharing, and I'll let you decide, and I respect your decision. But for now, let me do an update video actually, which is how to add the infinite scroll on your Shopify collection page, because I already made this video like a year ago or so, but lately some people are saying uh, it has problems, it has some issues, no worries. I fixed the issues, I also updated the design and fixed the problem with the button as well and actually enhanced the design for the button. So as I said, no worries. Even if you want to adjust this more, just drop me a comment below. I will be happy to help you up. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is Shopify down team. I always start with a completely new team, nothing on it. Each video adds small customizations, but the video like 70 or 60, the team will be completely different. But now I think I reached that level halfway. For example, check out these scrolling logos as you can see with the fade of the corners. Once I hover over it, it stops and this is optional. You can add a link to each image as well. Or this split section, 3D split section, or even better, check out the recent sales on your Shopify store by using your own custom code, man. And you can actually customize this for who to show up to, first time visitors, returning visitors, and so on. Or you wanna see something that will make you more money? Check this out. As you can see, I have five products added to the cart and I didn't check out yet, yet right? So this is the mouse cursor. I will act just like I wanna leave or close the page and this thing will show up, which is an abandoned cart pop-up reminder that will remind the user how many products he added to the cart and he didn't check out. And yes, by using your own custom code. And of course a button so he can check out and pay you the money he owes you. And I got amazing, amazing feedback on this. Actually, it helped many people to reduce the abandoned cards on their Shopify store. And I'm really happy to hear that. But yeah, infinite scroll on the collection page. That's exactly what I'm about to show you in this video. So let me close this one. And this team is full of stuff actually. So let me access a collection from here. And by the way, yeah, the glass morphism effect or the frosted glass as they call it. I did that in tutorials. So let me access it. You, if you want to add, by the way, an extra layer to the drop down, just like you see, I did that in tutorials as well. I'll, I'll quit now, I promise. So <laughs> let me access this collection, uh, take accessories, because I have many products here. As you can see, I have to navigate to the second page to see the other product. But what I'm talking about in this video is, it will actually, once I scroll down, it will load the other products without having to navigate to the second, to the second page. And it will show a message at the, top, at the bottom of the page and a button saying scroll up so the user doesn't have to do it like this and scroll. You can just click on the button and it takes them back to the top. And this is very easy to do so. You just have to use copy and paste. You know how to do copy and paste? That's the only thing you need in my tutorials actually. So the first thing you're going to do is access Shopify dashboard. Then click on the online store, then click on teams, then click on the three dots on left of customize and click on edit code. Then it will open up the code editor for your Shopify team. And on the left panel right here, you will see a bunch of files and folders. Simply click on the, the, the folder, sorry, that says snippets. This one, as you can see, click on it to be expanded, then click on add a new snippet, and it will show you this prompt so you can name the snippet. And simply name it infinite-scroll, just like you see on the screen. Let me zoom in on it so you can see. Infinite-scroll, then click on done, and it will create the file in here. It's empty, we need to pass in the code. And where are you gonna get that code for the infinite scroll? You need to hire a developer, pay him, wait 24 hours, then test the code. I'm just joking, scroll down the description box and you will see a link, my website completely free again. Simply click on it and it will take you to this website right here. Then scroll down a little bit and you will see the code for the infinite snippet as you can see. Then use this icon to copy the code and get back in here and paste it in the snippet that we did create, which is infinite scroll dot liquid dash scroll sorry dot liquid the next thing you're going to do is click on save button so that uh, the file will be saved then the next thing we're going to do is use the search bar at the top left corner right here simply use the search bar click on it then type in collection dash product dash grid or actually get back to my website 
and then scroll all the way down so you don't get confused. I know you guys lazy like copy and paste, no worries. Here is as you can see, simply this file. Select the text in green, as you can see without the dot liquid, simply the title for it, copy it, get back in here, paste it in the search bar, and here it is. So you don't have to type in anything. Then click on it and it will open up the file in here. And in here again, we need to find a specific section on the call. To do so, simply click on the call, just like I want to write something. Then on your keyboard, if you are using Windows, click on Control F, I'm on a Mac. I'm gonna click on Command F, and it will show me this prompt right here that will help us find the code we are looking for. And what is the code we are looking for? This one, get back to my website, and you will see this code right here. Simply select this one, like if paginate.pages, copy it, then get back in here, and paste it in the search bar, hit enter, and here it is, as you can see. So let me zoom in on it so you can see actually. So now we need actually to delete this part. And the part is from the percentage and the close, you see the opening bracket and the percentage select from this one behind the code that we did find, which is if paginate.pages, select from this one until this one. Actually, here it is again. I know you guys lazy. This code right here. Simply select this code right here, which is the one I selected in here as well. Let me do that again. Then delete it. It's very simple. Then get back to my website and replace it with this code. Simply copy it using the button again. Paste it in here. Now click on save button. Wait for a couple of seconds. We get back in here, reload the page, and see what that will do. So let's just reload the page. Now let's just scroll down and see if it will show us the second page and so on, which is the navigation. So let's just scroll down. Nope. It loads the other products. And this is all the products it has. At the end, it will say, you reach the end. And you can change the text, obviously. Here is, I think you already saw it. You reach the end, as you can see. You can change the text if you want. And there is a button. If I click on the button, and the button is interactive, of course. As you can see, it has a shine effect. If I click on the button, back to the top. And that's how you add the infinite scroll on your connection page on your Shopify store. And if you have any questions, make sure to drop them below. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.